It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see which conference reigns supreme today. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Philadelphia Eagles on Monday Night Primetime. The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real tree, a great Monday night matchup, as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. You <laughs> know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by a Heisman runner-up during his college days. It's the versatile Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100-plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. To throw at the outset, here's Hurts. They'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That good for 19 and a first down. That runs successful in large part because they had a lot of extra help blocking up front. Yeah, you've got guys who can do that very, very well. In addition, they can catch the football. So sometimes when they line up with three tight ends, it's not necessarily to run it, and that gives you an advantage when you do decide to barrel off the line of scrimmage and block people downfield. And down to the 36-yard line here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Hurt sets up to throw it, and that'll be incomplete. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. 
and that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Here's second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. The Browns' D locked in on third down, brings up fourth. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. The kick by Elliott is good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And no thought of a return here for Hines. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. Leading him out is their quarterback, the former 12th overall pick. Some refer to him as the natural, Deshaun Watson. And he makes it so difficult for all defenses because when he's got the ball, it's hard to say when a play is truly over because he can create from any spot on the field and in any situation, even when it appears that he's contained. When he's running your offense, a big play could arrive from any possible spot. Watson and the Browns now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. This is Akins hauling in the short pass. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now the throw, they're going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The 26 big yards on that one, it's another first down. But I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10, down at the 33. Now it's Watson. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Throw left side, caught by the tight end to Joku. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. 11 more on that one and another first down. Four consecutive passes to begin this opening drive, and you can't argue with the results. They've already driven it into the red zone and a fresh set of downs here to play with. Which means there's a lot of trust by the play caller, by the quarterback, the receivers, you name it. Everyone locked in, everyone doing their job. I continue to go in that direction because right now they got the defense back on their heels. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Second and 10. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. 
That's going to be caught at the 10 yard line. And they get Jack Conklin there, the right tackle. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Watson, off play action. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Browns have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15. <laughs> Keeping that going. And he feels like he can get it done. Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, shifts past him. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 23 yards on the tuck and run. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not locking up. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he's going to take this across the 50 into Brown's territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out of here and take off. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. I'm actually looking at this play with defensive eyes here, partner, because they were still laser focused on him after his earlier exploits on this drive. I think they went back to the well just a little bit too soon. He got across the line of scrimmage, but they certainly weren't giving up much more than that. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he's taken down inside the 30. Defense was thinking run, and their delta pass of just under 20 yards. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. It's pretty early in the game, but they've already tried to establish him not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Now a second and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, complete. That's Parker. 
And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 17-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Hurts. Open, and he's got him. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith from 17 yards out. And the Eagles are able to move back in front. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Elliott Good on the extra point. And the lead is now 10-7. to seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was finished off by a touchdown from Devontae Smith. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Cleveland offense ready to go. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained. It gets by him, and now a little daylight. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The start of the second quarter, and it's the Browns in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Here's Hines. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 15 more yards there and quickly another first down. Make that now two runs in a row that have netted them great results. And it doesn't matter what kind of blocking scheme they're using, gap scheme, power scheme, zone running. They are finding people in those gaps and moving them and creating nice space for their runners. A good run by Chubb on first down as he'll get about six yards there. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. And from the 34, here's second and four. They run it again with Chubb. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They'll try the air now with Watson. This short pass into the hands of Njoku. So the completion good for seven there. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and three. Here's Watson. Deshaun Watson fighting Amari Cooper. And the Browns have taken the lead. I think if you pulled defensive backs, 
they would say the corner route, take that out, make it illegal, because that is so hard to recognize and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as the wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Extra point good by Hopkins. And the lead is now 14 to 10. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Play action. Here's Hertz. This is Smith with a grab. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so he didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. Here's Hurts to throw. Buying time to his left. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain there on the play, but that all gets wiped out with a penalty. Well, that's a setback, but all the good play callers, they just move on. They find something else in the playbook that can attack this defense, and they go right back on the offensive on this play. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. A well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. The Eagles on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and forever. Looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. He's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. Yeah, 
After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. He'll drop to throw. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Eagles have yet again retaken the lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Now a first down throw. Watson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Jalen Carter in on that tackle. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. Now Watson. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 29-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first down, Watson. Quick slam, caught by Moore. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. 
That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, moved the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty. First and goal. Watson now to throw. And Joku pulls this one in. He's got it for a Cleveland touchdown. Deshaun Watson with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Browns will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they're going to continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half with this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive. But first down, Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Burt sets up to throw it. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, Naheem Hines. That's taken on the 25. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. And the Browns going to go on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Out of the gun, Watson. This will be caught, Judy. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts 
as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. From the 50, it's Watson. He'll get this to Chubb out of the backfield. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll bring up second down. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Now it's Watson. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. And Bojorquez on to punt as he gets it away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football. Because them doing that, puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night. As we'll send you... There you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. On the return, it's Naheem Hines. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Browns offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. Watson's throw here into the hands of the receiver, Judy. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, your front five, whatever you've got in front of you 
to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Throwing on third down, Watson. get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Deshaun Watson so multi-dimensional, able to scramble for the first. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 43 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. He's got Njoku over the middle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 33, here's second and a couple. Off of play action, it's Watson. Right back to Njoku. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. This is Hines. And he is in to the zone touchdown Cleveland 25 yards for Naheem Hines and the Browns take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead circle that drive because that might be one to remember well executed to give them a little cushion well let's take it into the boxing ring you talk about them commanding it keeping the fight where they wanted to whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab 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 and finally the haymaker to put that drive away hopkins with the extra point and that pushes the lead up to 11. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. Britton Covey going to bring it out of his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second and six, just inside the 30. Hurts. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. A big play there for Philly. 46 yards. Despite writing it down in my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. 
The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. A first down carry for Barkley. Trying to get out wide, but he's going to be tackled right near the line of scrimmage. Safety Grant Delpit up to make the play. When you try to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. Second down, here's Hurts. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Parker. 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Eagles are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and gets them right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove-it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Hertz will throw. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Hines opting not to risk it, and this will come out to the 25. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. Their lead down to a field goal now as they start with a first and 10. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 55 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Interior of that line blocked really well on that run, but also the two tight ends, they blocked well too. Not only have they stouted the line of scrimmage, with their agility, they can get upfield and hit moving targets like linebackers, defensive backs. They do a really good job helping out the running game. On first down, it's Watson. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. From the 46, here's second down and one. They go up the middle with Chubb. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw, Watson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. That's good for a Cleveland first down, an 11-yard pickup. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Up the middle, it's Chubb. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. 
Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. From the 25, here's second and a yard. To throw is Watson. Looking for Cooper. That's complete. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. And Chubble tried the middle here. Shoves him aside. And he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now it's Watson, a bootleg. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Here's Watson now on second down. Flushed out right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Deshaun Watson taking it in from two yards out. And the Browns will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you, that could win the game for us. Extra point good by Hopkins. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 18. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 53 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Barkley inside handoff. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. 
Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They go play action with Hertz. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 36. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 36. Hurts throw here taken in by Parker. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Jalen Hurts, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Elliott good with a PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he returns this to the 22. The Browns set to take over. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he is going to lose yardage here. Safety Reed Blankenship, he got in there and stopped him for a loss on the play. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb to about the 35, second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. 
Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. And meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. But it winds up falling incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there. Forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. A fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. Hurts and the Eagles now down by a field goal. A minute 51 on the clock. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. to throw. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. He'll look to throw. Pass complete. Got it. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as to understand where they are in the field? Here's first down. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. In for the sack, Miles Garrett. He found his way into the backfield, and he simply would not be denied. Well, they say that life's all about opportunities, and that holds true when you're playing defense as well. How about him seeing that chance, making the most of it, did a great job of wrapping him up and bringing him down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Back to throw. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Well, that's going to be incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Browns are going to get this thing back. Excellent field position. So now let's reset here, Charles. They do have two timeouts left so they can stop the clock twice. This one's not quite over yet. No, and what you're doing on defense, you're going to use both timeouts, obviously. But you've got to call defenses are going to force the issue early, meaning you want that play over fast. You don't want to give them time to dance around in the backfield or run a wide sweep that'll take off time. Blitz them, put pressure on them, make sure that play ends quickly so that you can go ahead and keep moving. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. An ideal down and distance to try to finish this thing off. Second and inches. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Browns first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory. The Browns in victory formation now as they take the knee. Down to an egos Watson, and that should just about do it for this ball game. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level from both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like Brandon 